Welcome to pattern making class. I'm Annette Julie and today we're going to learn how to make the leg of mutton sleeve. So here you see a variety of tools that you're going to need, some of them uh, pattern weights, but you could use some little cans. Here's a curve ruler. Some tape would be great, paper scissor. You don't need the notcher or the awl, but they are handy if you have them. And a writing implement. Preferably a pencil. I'm going to pattern make in pen so you guys can see it. And then of course my favorite tool, the 2 by 18 inch clear plastic ruler is very useful. But you could also just use another type of ruler, another straight edge. That's perfectly fine as well. So let's go ahead and get started. You're also going to need pattern making paper and a sleeve block. So if you don't have pattern making paper, you can use tracing paper. You can use 8.5 by 11 piece, uh, pieces of paper taped together, uh, brown wrapping paper, butcher block paper, construction paper, even tissue paper if you work very delicately. So we're going to start with our pattern paper and our sleeve block and a ruler and the first thing that we're always going to do with pattern making is that we are going to put a grain line on our piece of paper. So let's go ahead and take our paper and let's lightly crease it for the middle. Then you can go ahead and draw your grain line. The nice thing about this marking paper is that you can draw the grain line right in the middle of the numbers or the little X's. So we're going to take our block and we're going to match it with the grain line, bottom and top, and we're going to weight it down. Give yourself a little bit of room in case you want to put seam allowance on afterward, because this block does not contain seam allowance. So we've weighted the block down, we've matched it to the grain line. And now we're going to go ahead and trace it off. Our sleeve cap in the back with the double notches for the back. Our notch for the top of our sleeve, our front sleeve cap with our single notch, the back had the double, our underarm seam, underarm seam, elbow dart, which you don't use in most designs, but we have them in blocks and you can always manipulate that away. In school, we quite often will use a block with an elbow dart to let students know that it fits better if it does have one and to try to structure it into their design. So we do have our elbow dart, but let's go ahead and draw it in and we can design what to do with that or not later. Draw our arrows on for our grain line, and then this is our size 8, and what we are making is our leg of mutton sleeve. Okay, let's go ahead and get going with the measurements. From the cap, top of the cap of the sleeve, you're going to go down four inches and you're going to make a line. Then on the under seams of the sleeve, 
you're going to go down three inches and again three more inches and we'll do this to the other side as well this is the under seam from the bicep we're going down three inches and three inches now we're going to draw lines to the line that we made that's four inches down from the sleeve cap so you're going to connect the under seam of the sleeve to our line that's four inches down and again the other line that's three inches down to the one that's four inches down here we go let's do it on the other under seam of the sleeve connect our four inch line down to the three inch one now we have all of our slash lines that is the sleeve cap here is the wrist opening this is the elbow line right here is our bicep line right across here once you have all those lines now we can go ahead and cut our sleeve out Cutting out the back sleeve cap, cutting out our under seam of our sleeve. There's our elbow dart. And that's paper that you can keep for later. I started with some paper that I had cut off from another project and it's nice to always keep a pile of it going. Even that could turn into a sl continuous sleeve placket. Lots of little scraps. And you need them for pattern making and you definitely need your tape. Okay, there's the other under seam. Now we're gonna continue on the sleeve cap. We're on the front section now. We can see that because of the single notch. We just have a little bit more on the sleeve cap to get done. Now we're going to go ahead and do our slash and spread. So the first slash is going to be down the middle of the sleeve cap and the green line. Now we're going to go over to the under seam of the sleeve and we're going to go almost all the way there but leave about an eighth of an inch on. Come back to the middle. Let's get another slash line. Then we're going to repeat the same steps on the other side from the middle of the grain line out to the underseam of the sleeve, leaving attached one eighth of an inch. We have one more slash line to go. Great. So our spread because we just did the slash, and here's the spread. It's gonna look something like that. But we're gonna put a piece of paper underneath and fill that all in and blend the top line, extend the cap a little bit. That's the spread part. This was the slash. This is a method, slash and spread. I need another piece of paper but I really only need it for just the cap section. Let's see if that's big enough. Let me use one a little bit larger. Okay. So, 
It has to go down below the slash and above the cap. Okay, now this piece of paper also needs a green line in it. Even though we're going to put it underneath, we still need to find the middle. And draw a green line on it. Now we can go ahead and place our slashed basic bodice sleeve on here. And we're going to first take the lower section and then we're going to work our way up. So we're going to work on lining up our grain line. Lining it up underneath as well. That looks good, so let me get a weight on that. And now we're going to go ahead and tape that in place, the lower section. Our pieces are still attached. And now we're going to go ahead and spread them. And we're going to spread them by two inches at the very top. So we need to uh, go ahead and space things apart. It's going to be two inches up here on one side, two inches on the other side, and they're going to come just like that with this piece in the middle spaced out somewhat evenly. Okay, that's looking very close for what we're going to want it to look like nice and flat, nice and even from side to side. You adjust that one a little bit. That looks pretty good. Let me weight that down. That looks good as well. Let me flatten that out. That looks nice. So what I've done is made a two inch space here and a two inch space here and that's where the middle of the grain line of the of the split is 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 positioned. This is four inches now.